that is necessary. Because God is trying to have us to follow him. Amen. Christ is trying to have us take life seriously. Enjoy the spoils that are up. However, he wants us to focus on him. And we understand that Jesus has an answer. And he answers this question in Luke chapter 16, verse 20. And thirty. A certain baby named Lazarus who was laid at his gate, full of sore, and desired to be fed with crumbs, which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and ate his sore. And the dogs came and ate his sore. They ate his head. And they came to pass that the baby died. And it came to pass the baby died. And he was buried by the angels when he was buried by the angels. And when he died, the angels carried him away. Same man's question. The rich man also died in the spirit. And the rich man died and was left. And hell be lifted up his eyes. But in hell, he lifted his eyes. And he was tormented. And he saw. So he lifted his eyes and he saw. Jesus is giving us an answer. But what happens? That's it, preacher. After death. That's it. Based on injustice, right? Based on a lot of selfishness. 
that have any controls to uh, thoughts, right? Don't you think that this place will be awesome? <laughs> <laughs> By millions and billions, <laughs> and millions of souls, right? they were able to come back from the dead like a ghost. You would think that that would happen. Look how this says, otherwise. says when you leave, so the question is ready to go. What the Bible says is one is going towards comfort. That's it. One is going towards talk. Is that the Bible? That's it. So when we know that we ask this question, so who can live and not see death? Or who can escape the power of the grave? The answer is Jesus. Jesus can escape the power of the grave. We know that Jesus lived, he died, and was resurrected according to the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Now isn't that good news? That's good news. This is a eyewitness testimony of a man who was born out of that. And men had miraculous power from God. And God was risen on Sunday morning. He said, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you that I am of God. How are you going to show us? Well, when the man is blind, when the man is blind, when a man has died, I'm going to raise him back from the dead. He said, I am the resurrection. Amen? Amen. He said, I am the truth. Yes. Yes. Is it? Yes. Is it? Yes. See, Jesus is trying to answer so all these questions that you have. Dead. Why is this happening? Why is there so much injustice? Why, why are we fighting against one another? Why are the authorities putting their hands? Well, God was trying to tell you that this happened all the time because we don't see it. But it's time for us to see God. Well, Jesus said, let me come back from God. And let me show me the way. That when I come down, maybe when I show them all these things that are goodness and glory, that they will accept it. But what did they do? They killed him. They rejected him. Amen? Is that, that what happened? Yeah. Just want to make sure, so what would a man coming from the grave that's going to help this talk in this house to come to repentance? When they won't even accept the sight of a man who has helped a man raised from the dead and said, I was going to get up. And they're not going to accept him. So Jesus and God is trying to help us to get lined up with his word. Helping us to understand that truth stands on his own. I'm going to let you know right now, Jesus is standing on his own. And he's standing on the front, on the right hand of the Father. Right now. Right now. Now. Some say, well, there's no resurrection for you there. First Corinthians chapter 15, you know, which might come back down the here. Chapter 2, uh, chapter 15, verses 12 through uh, 22. There's a lot of uh, individuals because they can say, but all these things that you're talking about, is there a sense of Resurrection from the dead? Well, there is no such thing as that. I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't believe that. Well, you're not the first to say that. Paul with this scripture to the corporate church because there were individuals there that were saying there is no resurrection. The resurrection has happened. That's what they were telling the people in the car. So Paul had to come back and he said, let me write this letter to this. So that you can understand exactly what 